I want us to talk about the most impactful games of 2024. And most impactful games to the college football playoff, sure, because whoever wins their conference more than likely is going to have a you know, a college football playoff, uh, a pre- pretty nice seating, if you will. But I want us to be a little bit more in the weeds in the sense of I want to talk about the most impactful conference games. I got four of these, one for each conference. Best in peace to the Pac-12. What are the games that are going to decide the conference title races? Let's start in the Big Ten, man. October 12th, you got Ohio State going out to Autzen. I'm going to go see the Ducks and Eugene. There's a very real chance here that both of these teams are undefeated when they play, and neither one of them has a cupcake schedule after they play the other. Like Oregon after Ohio State, they go to Michigan. They go to Wisconsin, Ohio State. They're at Penn State, and they play Michigan, obviously, to end the year. I'll say this. I think whoever wins the Big Ten will do so with not more than one loss. Okay, so either team that you know, it, uh, again, assuming they're, they're they're undefeated, the loser of this game, I believe, loses their mulligan and has a pretty deep, uh, pretty steep climb the rest of the way. I also think both these teams, man, when you look at them at a macro level, from a roster perspective and from who they have at a head coach level, like they have the tools to make a national title run. So this game, quite frankly, could be a little uh, little preview of a rematch we get in Indy with both these teams for the Big Ten title, but nonetheless. That one, I think, is going to decide or at least have a very large impact on uh, who ends up having the inside track there in the Big Ten Conference. We're in SEC country. Let's go talk about the SEC. You could very easily have a conversation around Alabama, Georgia. The reason why that's not the game for me here is because that one's played a little bit earlier in the year. Let's go to the weekend after the one that we just talked about from October 12th when Ohio State and Oregon play to October 19th when Georgia and Texas play. Georgia goes to Austin. So if you're keeping track now, these two different games we've talked about, both in the Big Ten and SEC respectively, I think the newcomers will have a massive impact on who ends up playing in that conference title game. But Georgia goes to Austin. This gets really interesting if both of these teams show up in this game with one loss. Because if you have two losses in the SEC before November, things get a little bit more dicey, might need a little bit of help to make that conference title game in Atlanta. Again, no more divisions, so you could definitely see this be a rematch in Atlanta as well. But Georgia, when they play Texas, will have already played Alabama, and they have to play Tennessee as well after this game. Also, they play Florida, and that's a huge toss-up game. Not toss-up game, because I'm sure Georgia will be very uh, heavily favored, but I'm just saying in a rivalry game like that at a neutral site, I, I, wouldn't just, I wouldn't put it in Sharpie. Maybe put it in pencil. I wouldn't put it in a Sharpie as a win if you're a Georgia fan. Now, Texas, the tricky part for them is they play Georgia the week after they play Red River. And Red River, man, we've seen it many times. The winner of that game will turn around the next week after absolutely draining themselves emotionally and physically and then kind of have a letdown spot. You can't have that if you're Texas. I don't think Oklahoma will be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. It does not get any easier because you play uh, a team who's, you know, been the big dog more or less or been a big been a big dog in the SEC over the course of the last couple of years. Don't expect that to change in 2024. So Texas will definitely have their work cut out for them. Excited to watch that one. So three weeks in a row now, we have three games that will help determine the conference title race. So have a very big impact on the conference title race. We go from the Big Ten to the SEC, from the 12th to the 19th of October, the 26th of October. I think we start to see the uh, the ACC kind of take, uh, take shape for us a little bit. Florida State goes to Miami. Now, obviously, this has massive implications on the uh, you know the recruiting pitches you can make in different living rooms after this game is played. I think there's a very real chance now, depending on how that game goes week one for Miami, when they go to Florida, we could see both these teams undefeated or potentially with one loss. Winner will obviously have an inside track here uh, if this game ends up being a undefeated versus a one loss or undefeated and undefeated. Miami, if they win this game, and they have one loss or less heading or uh, coming out of it, heading into it. They play Duke at Georgia Tech, Wake, and they're at Syracuse. Okay, so I'm not saying those are all just easy wins, but I am saying that's kind of the, the downhill feel for Miami if they are going to come out of this game with one loss or less. Florida State, they have a battle after they play Miami. So they play at Notre Dame. They got to play Florida at the end of the year. Like It's, it's not going to be an easy you know downhill jump right into it, kind of keep sledding towards the the conference title game 
if you beat a Miami. So all I'm saying here is Florida State, you can't afford to lose a mulligan in Miami. This is probably the last hurdle you have to have to find your way in that conference title game. And obviously both of those would. Now the Big 12, man, or both of those teams would. Uh, the Big 12, it's going to be interesting. It's, it's going to be wild. Like I couldn't, I couldn't put it in just a, a one game sample size for us here in terms of the most impactful game because I think it's going to be absolute demolition derby style to be honest with you, in that conference. You add in a Utah, you add in a Colorado, an Arizona. Like There's there's some new, some newcomers to this conference. But when you look at the last two weeks of this season, I think that you're going to have a lot of uh, answers from Iowa State because they play at Utah, and then they turn around the next week, and Kansas State comes to town. So I'm not saying Iowa State's going to be in that Big 12 title game, but I do think Utah and Kansas State have a very good chance going into those last two weeks of the season to make it to Jerry World and play in that one. And, I mean, I'm just looking at the makeup of this game, man. Like, Iowa State brings back top 20 returning production in 2024. I think Utah and Kansas State are probably going to be the betting favorites. I believe they are the betting favorites right now to win the conference. Iowa State has a chance to either play spoiler, or who knows, they could have a chance to find their way to Jerry World themselves. Kansas State's the curious one because they play the last game of the regular season in Ames, Iowa. And Kansas State doesn't have that same returning production that a Utah has, that a Iowa State has, but I think they have the, the highest ceiling. So I got not one, but two high-impact games for the Big 12 Conference. Iowa State at Utah and Kansas State at Iowa State. Any way you slice it, the Cyclones are going to have their, uh, their mark on who ends up there in Dallas, in my humble opinion. To close that thought on the Big 12, I don't think we see a Big 12 champ with less than two losses. So it's going to be, I think, absolute absolute anarchy in that conference. But regardless, October's a big month, if you ask me, for uh, those conference title races to start to take shape. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.